Hello there. If you're watching this video, you've come to the same problem I have, is that for some reason, your boot camp control panel in Windows 7, when you dual boot in your Mac, um, does this when you try to access its setting. You are an administrator of your Windows 7 or 8. Um, I'm the only user of the system, so I'm obviously the administrator. And the problem lies in with the most advanced OS in the world, of course, OS X and their boot camp system, is that actually, in a weird sort of way, your privileges are too high as an administrator. So it's really just a software glitch. There's not really much you can do about that. Um, you can set up a new account that's just a general user that's not an administrator, and it will work fine. Or if you're like me, you can do this just to access these um, settings. First thing you're going to do is you're going to right click your desktop and you're going to make a new shortcut. So you're going to go to new um, shortcut. And when you're in the shortcut menu here, excuse me, I'm going to have to do this. You're going to have to put in a special line. I'm going to put it in the description so you don't have to worry about it because it's going to be hard to read um, over, you know, on this uh, screen capture here. But this is the line you have to put in. And what this is going to do is it's going to, is it's going to put, it's going to open uh, the Apple Control Center with a trust level of 0x20,000, which is one step below administrator. Um, 4,000 is even lower, but 20,000 is ideal. So we're doing a Windows System 32 run as exec. We're going to set the trust level and that sets it, and then we're going to um, point it to Apple Control Panel Exec. This is all you need to put in. Now you might need to adjust this if your Windows is not on a C drive. Mine's on a C drive, or however you have your Windows installed. I would bet that most people have it like this. So um, if you don't have it on your C drive, you're probably more of an advanced user anyway, and you would understand this. So you'd want to do that. You hit Next, and type it for whatever you want. We're just going to do uh, BC as in Boot Camp, you know, Link and then just finish that. Um, now really what you want to do is you want to run this as administrator. You can, uh, I'm an administrator, it's probably going to work, but if you have any trouble, you want to go to compatibility and you want to change the privilege level to run as admi uh, program as administrator. Or if you have trouble, right click and run as administrator. I don't really need to do that, it works fine. So now when you run it, oh, look at that. Your, your control panel opens up just fine and everything works as it should. It's a little irritating that you have to have a link now to get through that, but that's the way it is. If you need to get in your boot camp control panel in Windows 7 or Windows 8, that's the workaround right now until Apple feels like they want to fix it. Um, that's all, and I hope you enjoy it. Watch for more crappy help videos, and I hope this helps some people out there get past that. Thanks.